Hey guys, welcome to another North of Nowhere tour and the Klein House Forest Lane Tiny Home. Today we are in Navarre, Ohio, staying at a true tiny house and a place that is the perfect spot, I think, for a small getaway. Whether you're a solo traveler or a couple looking to go somewhere for a quick weekend trip, the Klein House has you covered and Dina, the host, is super nice and accommodating. So. If you guys are interested in booking this place, I will put a link in the video description to the Airbnb listing and their Instagram page. Also, if you enjoy this video, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. It really does help and we post new tours like this every single week. When you arrive at the property, you will see the tiny home at the bottom of this ravine. And Hunter, my wife, is actually not here with me on this trip. So today I am riding solo and it is the middle of the winter here in the Midwest. I am here in February, but this tiny home is just as gorgeous, if not even prettier, than it is now in the summer and fall. I'll put a couple pictures on the screen here to show what it looks like then. Uh, the host did an awesome job with these pictures, and I think it captures the essence of this place very accurately. In the front of the home here, there is this large gazebo with really comfortable seating and just a place you can kick back and enjoy the outdoors. There's a lot of snow on the ground right now, so I appreciate the covered area so that you can still enjoy the outside, even if it's snowing or raining. I actually came out here last night for a little bit just to enjoy being outside in, in the fresh air, and uh, it was really nice because they have the gazebo lined with, the, uh, with lighting, and it just, it's a really cozy spot. The exterior features this weathered cedar siding paired with a beautiful silver steel roof. And there are a number of thoughtfully placed windows around this home, which you will find actually provides a lot of beautiful natural light in the interior. So speaking of the interior, now let's head inside and see what this tiny home has to offer. Entering the home, you will see this beautiful bed on your right and a place to hang your coat and kick off your shoes to the left. From this view, you can see almost the entire interior of the home. I believe the space here is 290 square feet and most of it is within view here. They have the classic knotty pine paneling on the wall and tasteful decor throughout the living area. This bed is actually fairly large and is decorated with pillows and blankets for you to snuggle up, which I think is a great alternative to a couch in a tiny home. Across from that, there is a wood stove style electric heater, which is much needed in the colder months. And behind this, you will find the two tray tables, which have the name of this cottage, Klein House, engraved on them. And these are actually really convenient because there isn't a dining table in the home. So these will be your main dining table or a game table if you're into playing games or in the mood to play games, whichever you prefer. But I think these tables with their branding on them are really neat and just a nice touch to the space. The living room leads directly into the hallway style kitchen. And I love the color of the cabinets that they chose here. It's almost this greenish gray type of color. And I'm always a fan of the butcher block countertop type of look, and I think this color blends very nicely with that. The exposed shelves hold your French press for coffee in the morning and a few other amenities. This kitchen does not have an oven and cooktop, but it does have a convection microwave and an electric stovetop burner. So you're still able to do some cooking, and with this being a tiny home, they were very intentional about the use of the space. There is also a ton of storage here on the sink side and also under the stairs where they have some books and baskets to hold any additional items. At the very back of the tiny house is your bathroom. In here, you have your sink, toilet, and shower. And I was actually a little surprised at how spacious this bathroom was, considering the overall size of the home. I also really liked this pattern fabric that they had on the wall here as well. And then finally heading back through the kitchen and up the stairs leads you to the final area of this home and the loft, which has your one bed. This space is really cozy and has just enough room for two people to sleep comfortably. Another thing to note is there is no TV in this home, which is actually kind of nice. So you can just focus on yourself, focus on your significant other or whoever else you're here with, or just read a book and relax. The Klein House feels very secluded, but it's also conveniently located very close to town. The host, Dina, provides a detailed book with restaurant and sightseeing suggestions, so you'll find plenty of things to do here to keep you busy. And overall, I just think this tiny home is very thoughtfully designed, and the hospitality from the host is something that truly stands out and will keep you coming back here 
time and time again. I hope you guys enjoyed that tour of the Klein House. Again, we will put a link in the video description if you guys are interested in booking this place. We have some really exciting tours coming up, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching this video, and we will catch you guys in the next one somewhere north of nowhere.